Anybody looking for luxury living in a private secluded neighborhood in Dana Point should definitely be looking at Nigel Shores. Now this is one of the neighborhoods that has tons of different amenities, is in a beach city, ocean views in a ton of different places, different types of houses, and it's in a location where you're rather convenient to get to the freeway, you're right on PCH, close to Laguna Beach, and honestly, Nigel Shores has a ton of really good benefits to it. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the neighborhood Nigel Shores in the city of Dana Point. So let's dive right in. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Christian Stubbs. I am a team leader and owner of Onyx Homes, which is a real estate sales team located here in Orange County, California. And this channel is all about Orange County. We make this content or I make this content to give you as much information as you can. Cause if you're watching this, you might be thinking about making a move. So we just want to make your life a little bit easier. So let's dive right into some fun facts about Miguel Shores. I've got amenities. I'm going to share my screen here in a minute as well too. But first of all, I've got my notes down here. So I get this right. Cause there is a ton of information about Nigel Shores. Now, first and foremost, there are 960 units within the community. So this is a pretty large overall neighborhood. It's broken down into a ton of different sub areas. I'm not gonna list them all because there's frankly so many, but there's a lot of different areas. So you have Nigel Shores that is, and I'm gonna get to the map here, but you have west of PCH and you have east of PCH. West of PCH is pretty much right on the water with just a couple of streets and some garden homes. And then you have up the hill, which is gonna be a lot of ocean view property. But before we get to that, we're gonna talk about the median home price for Nigel Shores is just over $3 million. We're gonna talk about the monthly HOA is 373. It's a mixture of single family and townhomes. It is a gated community that was established in 1969. So these are older and a lot of them have been remodeled. Now, if you're looking at Nigel Shores as a neighborhood and you don't know that much about the city of Dana Point, I made a couple of videos with tons of information. So you have the pros and cons of Dana Point. You also have the reasons to move to Dana Point. I would highly recommend taking a look at both of those if you're seriously considered considering Dana Point in your home search. Now, also, if you haven't liked the video or subscribed to the channel, one, the like goes a lot farther than you might think, and two, subscribe to the channel. We put out two videos like this every single week. So if you're thinking about making a move to Orange County at some point in the future, it might be helpful to know a little bit more all about Orange County. So anyway, let's dive back in. So location, we are located in Monarch Beach of Dana Point. So Monarch Beach is an area of Dana Point and Nigel Shores is a neighborhood. So Monarch Beach is the, I'll say northmost portion of Dana Point. Now Nigel Shores is kind of in a really unique position because you have the Ritz Carlton very close as well as the Waldorf Astoria almost, almost right across the street and you're right next to Salt Creek Beach and the Strand Beach, which Miguel Shores has direct access to this as well too. So you're about a five to 10 minute drive away from the five freeway. You're a five minute drive from Monarch Bay Plaza, which is right by where the Ritz Carlton's at. You're also right next to Lantern District. So if you go just slightly north of where Miguel Shores is at, you're gonna be in Monarch Beach and just north of that is Laguna Beach. If you go just south, you're gonna be in the Lantern District and, and down by the Dana Point Harbor. So from a location standpoint, it's a little bit secluded away from like the, not that Dana Point has a city city feel, but down in Del Prado, downtown Dana Point you do. So this is more like suburbs rather than it's the city, not that it's the city. And you're about a 10 minute drive from the harbor, if that to be honest. Now let's go through amenities. I've got notes here, cause there are so many, I don't wanna miss any. Community center facilities. We have, there's a swimming pool and spa. You have saunas tennis courts, green belt for games. You have handball courts, basketball courts, beach bluff park, tot lot, rooms for private events. There's also picnic tables as well too. Remember this is all within the community. Now you also have social uh, clubs and organizations. So you've got art classes, beach bluff barbecue, bridge classes, exercise classes, garden club, ladies day tennis, men's golf, reading group, potluck, summer camp, swim lesson, water aerobics, women's club and women's golf. Yes, there's all kinds of different stuff. Nigel Shores um, has a lot of amenities within the neighborhood as well too. And frankly, for $373 a month, that is a steal. A lot of HOAs, if you're looking at other places, you're gonna be 500 bucks a month easy in a lot of these other neighborhoods. So for a large neighborhood to have a low HOA with a lot of amenities, that's definitely a huge plus. Plus you have direct beach access through the neighborhood, which is 
absolutely fantastic. My favorite beach in all of, really all of Orange County is the Strand Beach. You're also right by the Waldorf, you're right by the Ritz, which if you like going out to dinner and you like walking distance or golf cart distance or a very, very short drive, that's really hard to beat. Now, I'm gonna dive into my computer here and I'm gonna show you our website here. We've got SoCalHomesForSale.com. If you're not familiar, it's a home search website like AzillaRedfinRealtor.com. And I'm gonna type in Miguel Shores. Miguel Shores, let's go ahead and just pop this up and let's see what homes are currently available. So the first thing I wanna do is, so if you're looking in Dana Point, you've got Capo Beach down here, you've got the Lantern District, is this kind of area. So when I said that city feel, that's like this. You can see this is a little more congested than, than this is over here, right? And then just so you know, this is the Waldorf Astoria. This is the golf course, all this green you see here. The Waldorf's right here. And then the Ritz Carlton's right here. So like, that's very, very close location. There's also some really good shops right down here in the Monarch uh, Plaza as well too. So anyway, you have your east of the PCH, which is, the, this is kind of terraced, right? So if we looked at the street view of this, oh, let's look at the satellite view. This is terraced, right? So these all have ocean views. You can see it's single loaded streets for the most part and um, all of these. So like, let's look at this property, for example. This is on Binnacle Drive. So this is a three bed, two and a half bath, 2100 square foot place built in 1972. And this is like the townhome section of it. This is a single family residence, but they are att they're attached single family residence. The, I'm trying to show the view, right? So like these properties, so like on the back of this, this picture does not even remotely do this justice, but uh, you can see the ocean view here. Now this is kind of a sprawling spanning view, but most of these properties have some sort of view like this. A lot of them are single stories, but anyway, that's a lot of what you're gonna see up here on the top portion. This is 3 million bucks, so that's right at that median price point. Now on the west side of the PCH, you're gonna have obviously more exclusive. It's also much smaller. So this portion up here, you can kind of see these, um, let me go back to my satellite view. Uh, I don't know the actual name for these, but like garden homes where um, you're in little cul-de-sacs. And then you have your your larger um, larger properties, a lot of the custom properties. You can see this is like brand new construction or like uh, build for new, brand new construction. That's obviously a rendering. And then you'll have like waterfront type properties. So this, let's just go ahead and look at this for fun. This is a eight and a quarter million dollar place. Again, if, you do, if you're if you not familiar with SoCalHomesForSale.com, you can create a free account. All you have to do is plug in your information so that you can save your search based on what you're looking for. If you don't wanna do that, you don't have to. Uh, it is just an option. Now, I will say one key benefit of doing that is it allows us to share with you any off-market opportunities that aren't on this website, Zillow, Redfin, or any of those other websites if you tell us what you're looking for. Uh, but you don't have to do that. So. As you can see, this property is three beds, three baths, 3,400 square feet, 1972 build. And let's go ahead and look at this. Look at this view. So this is from, what is this? The second or third row, row on Shackleton. So if we look at the map here, we are, let me zoom in. Yeah, the third row back. And you can see this view is just absolutely spectacular. I mean, that all you can see is ocean here and you're so close to the beach itself. Just overall, very, very nice. I mean, these homes do not come up that often. As you can see, there's only three currently for sale. And here's some pictures of the actual amenities themselves. This is a good picture of, of what Nagel Shores looks like. And then just south, you have the you have the strand, right? The strand of the headlands. Uh, these are for second and third row there, you're looking 10, 15, maybe like probably about $15 million or so to be third row on the strand versus third row at Nagel Shores. Um, obviously the strand's much, I shouldn't say obviously, the strand is much, much newer property. So if you're looking for larger, higher end, higher end in the sense of their newer construction, um, that neighborhood has a lot to be offered as well too, but it is quite a bit more money than what you'll see in Nigel Shores. So anyway, this is kind of what you're going to see in Nigel Shores. You're gonna see stuff that is, that is west of the freeway, that is some really, really special properties. Let's see what this one here is at seven and a half. This is a four bed, five and a half, five and two half baths, uh, 3,900 square feet built in 2015. So this is quite a bit newer. Um, I've actually seen this home for sale before. And you can tell this is totally renovated. This is much newer. 
And this is one row further back on Sydney Bay, kind of sits on a corner. So you can see that view right there. That's the headlands. Just on the other side of that is the Dana Point Harbor. So really, really nice property, really pretty view. Uh, maybe not the best pictures I've ever seen, but um, yeah, this is a unique property. You've got a, a very large house in comparison to some of these other ones. So anyway, that is some of the most important stuff you'd want to know about Nigel Shores. If you are thinking about making a move to Dana Point, whether it's Nigel Shores, you wanna look at the Strand, you wanna look at Monarch Beach, there's a lot of different pocketed areas in Dana Point and frankly all of Orange County. So if you wanna reach out, the easiest way to do it is go to allaboutoc.com and drop your information. Myself or one of our local experts would be happy to talk through your unique situation. If you wanna just go search for homes for sale, you can go to our website, socalhomesforsale.com and set up your own search. Again, my name is Christian. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.